Hey everybody, and thanks for watching this video today. What we thought we'd do is actually talk about three things in Acumatica that you could do with a little extra time. I really hope everyone's home safe and healthy right now, and maybe you're finding yourself with a couple extra minutes because you don't have a commute or you're just not having some normal social interactions like water cooler conversation. And um, there are a couple of things that when we're in the throes of an Acumatica implementation, we often just uh, overlook or we don't have time to do, and they're really easy to configure and tweak. I mean, I've seen this time and time again. People love it when we do our demos before you buy, and then you know there's just more important things to do after that. And those three things are all around generic inquiries and data entry screens. So think of any of those screens where there's a, a grid format. The first one that I'd like to talk about is the favorites. Now, there are so many screens in Acumatica, and you guys know that it's a robust product with a lot of functionality, um, and your user role trims down some of those screens, but you still may have access to a lot. Well, a really easy way, similar to bookmarking in a browser, would be to use the favorites button. And if you use the little star next to the screen name, just by the click of a button, you're building out your favorites workspace there in the upper left hand of your screen. The second thing that can often be daunting within these screen grids is how many fields there are. And you may not even remember or realize that you have control of the left to right view as well as what you see or what you don't within your user role. So there's the little button in the upper left of the grid called the columns configuration. And this is a place where you see available columns on the left. These are all the ones that aren't currently showing on your screen grid. And then on the right are the selected columns. So if we wanted to be able to hide columns, like we never use them, we, we can just simply move them from the selected, hit the left arrow, and they go over to the available. And we can do that for as many as we'd like or pull some over that maybe we didn't know existed back to the right uh, to the selected. Similar to that, you can also just drag and drop the columns. So I can very easily drag and drop columns to reorder them on my screen. Just remember that you need to go back into the columns configuration and hit OK for, for it to look that way when you come back to that screen on your next login. The last really quick feature to set up on some data entry screens and all inquiry screens is the filtering tool. And uh, there's two different versions of this. One is it adds tab filters on the top. The other one is a drop down next to the filters field, depending on the inquiry you're on. But there's a, a little filter settings button, in the, usually on the right hand side of these screens. Looks like a, a funnel or a martini glass, depending on what time of day it is. And if you select that little button, you're going to be able to see filter settings. Now at the top, you may already have access to some filters. Um, you can actually set a new filter as your default. So if you're responsible, for example, on sales orders for a certain customer or group of customers or vendor on the, on the purchasing side, you, know, you can actually create filters around any of the fields available within these screen grids. And it's, it's as easy as, as going in and hitting the plus. And I'll do an example of a sales order here. But the property field shows me my different columns. So I could say, you know what, show me just open sales orders. So I would select the status, I'll leave the condition as equals, and then in my value field, I can very easily drop down and see all the values. So I'll hit open. Now one little thing you need to remember to do is hit save and give it a name. So I'm actually gonna hit save, and then I'll enter in the name open orders. And once I apply that, I now just added a new tab to my screen, right? If you find yourself ever filtering through these screen grids and you're not able to get to the records that you're looking for, this is a really easy way in a couple of minutes just to be able to categorize things in a way that's meaningful for you. Everything that we just talked about, the favorites, the filtering, and the columns configuration, don't change what anyone else sees in Acumatica. 
Well, thanks for watching today. I hope that you learned something new or remembered something you knew before. Uh, tune in next week when we're going to talk about the mobile app and really the top three things that you can deploy within the mobile app quickly to enhance your experience in Acumatica.